So let's balance this equation. We have CUO plus ZN, we get this ZNO plus CU. So we'll balance it, then we'll talk a little bit about redox at the end. So let's just count the atoms up, and when I do that, I find that it's already balanced. So it's pretty simple there. We have one copper, one oxygen, and one zinc on both sides. This equation is balanced. If you want to look at it from the perspective of redox, let's write the oxidation numbers in. Oxygen is always minus two. That means the copper is going to be plus two. So this is copper two oxide. Over here is zinc. That's a metal. And copper, those are solid metals. So those will be zero. Oxygen is always minus two. And the zinc is going to be plus two. So it looks like the copper goes from a two plus to a zero. So it gained two electrons. The copper gained electrons. It's been reduced. The zinc starts out with zero and then it goes to plus two. So it lost two electrons. So when you lose those electrons, that's oxidation. So that's kind of the way to think about this. This is redox because we go from a two plus to a zero and a zero to a two plus. So electrons were transferred from the zinc and then the copper ended up getting them. So the copper ends up with an oxidation state of zero. The zinc is plus two. That's it. This is Dr. B with CuO plus Zn yields ZnO plus Cu. Thanks for watching.